All right, Shredders, today we're going to help David, my husband, get better at jumping. So like many mountain bikers, he's got an element of ability when it comes to jumping, but there are times when he really scares me. So I'd like to improve him so that we can go jumping together without me going <gasps> on a not too infrequent basis. <laughs> so let's have a look and see how we can fix him. Okay, so let's see how he gets on this time. I'm going to film him with my phone. That's a really good thing to do with your friends if you're trying to help each other out get better doing some slow-mo because you can really look at that technique and figure out if one of you's good and the other one's not so good. You can compare by looking at the slow-mo. That's a really useful tool. Right, here we go. That is pencil tastic. It's amazing. I know. The best pencil I've ever seen. I'm, I'm calling that for style points, surely. So good. <laughs> I definitely felt like I preloaded. Yeah, you did. And when you spring up, that's really nice. But then you just appear to think, right, I better make sure that I've really kept my yeah. legs straight. So you've pulled your handlebars in, yeah. done a bit of a stem sh shagger, and then yeah. <laughs> put it down again. So what we really want you to do yeah. is to do the same as you did off the takeoff. So nice yeah. preload, stand up tall. Yeah. But once you're in the air, just allow it to come down a bit. And so to do that, you're going to need to just let the legs bend, let, allow the bike to come up underneath you. Okay. So you've kind of gone back to not fully straightening your legs. As in I didn't, let me watch it again, as in I didn't stand up enough. Oh yeah. Basically what you're saying is, I, I'm coming in, I preload, Yeah. and I've got to, so at that point where I stand up, so before, my bars, when I, when I did stand up, my bars came up and I did that. Yeah, but Quality you did pencil. that, so you would have pulled those towards you. That doesn't happen on its own. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. So so it's it's in the, you sort of make sure you extend and then you allow the, the bottom half yeah, to so sort you... of come back up yeah, but you to don't... you, sort of level, level it out, spot your yeah. landing. Yeah. And if you need to, push into it. You probably only really would purposely push in on a very steep landing at proper okay. dirt jumps. I don't very often find that on a jump like this, which is designed as a, a sort of speed jump for a, a long travel bike, that you're going to ever need to fully push in because it's rare that the, that the landing's steep enough to actually need to push okay. purposely back in. Whereas on a steep dirt jump, which you'd be jumping on a hardtail, yeah. although you're just going, poof, poof, then you are going to go, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, okay. so that this isn't that type of jump. Right. So. So it's just that? Yeah. So on this one, you had a, I, yeah, I saw a really nice preload and then you went up and then you did, a, you did the pencil, but then you pushed it back. Yeah, which it, was actually, a, it was a quick one. In a way, kind of works because it means you're in charge of the bike. So sometimes when you've got a lot of air time, it helps to to do something in the air. When you just do a straight air and you've got quite a lot of air time, it's like, oh. <laughs> so actually doing something in the air, as long as your takeoff and your landing is good, isn't the worst thing in the world. But obviously that was a bit ugly. So we want some nice- Oh, hang on, oh, hang on. Let me just wind that back a little bit. Are we saying that was improvement because I had a nice takeoff and I had a nice landing, just a bit in between was a bit Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So what I liked about this was that you came in, you popped up, your legs are near enough straight. You've started to allow your legs to bend a bit earlier than usual. Yeah. You're bringing your bum back a bit, which is countering. So think before you're not bringing your bum back enough. Well, when you allow the bike to come up underneath you, it yeah. naturally occurs that your knees are going to bend. So your bum comes back a little bit behind yeah. the saddle. So what that does is it means that your weight's not too far forward. So you're not landing not so pitching. heavily. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're not pitching and you're not landing so heavily on the front wheel. So that looks a lot nicer. Like there's still a little bit there, but not too much. Yeah. And then on the second one, I saw you do the safety pencil oh, again. Yeah. But to be honest with you, it's better to do a safety pencil than it is to land front heavy. If you land front heavy and you land so front heavy that you end up yeah, going over the bars, you're, you're going to take yeah. it to the face. So it's much better if you're going <laughs> to kind of have a weird technique on one or the other, the safety pencil is probably the better option. I literally seem to have developed that today. It's better for my stress levels. <laughs> That's good. But maybe 
when there's lots of air, maybe it would be helpful just to try and just do a little tweak or something because then instead of having all that time in the air to be like, oh, I'm in the air, oh, because you know, when it's a quite an alien concept, it can be quite hard to not let the bike take over. Yeah. So if you're in charge, and this kind of applies to every area of mountain biking, if you're in charge of where the bike's going and where you want it to go, generally speaking, things go much better for you. So why not try, if you feel comfortable, doing the jump and just just trying to do a little turn bar or that's the easiest thing to do. And it's only the tiniest little tweak, but it could make a difference. Right. You! That one was cool! That looked really good! Yeah, that one felt much better. It feels like I'm standing up properly. Yeah. And the bike's not getting away from me. It's coming up to me. I, I felt like both times I, I landed I landed pretty decent on that one. That felt quite that felt alright. Well, I thought your shape on this looks really good. It just you just didn't quite have the distance. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it looked way better than, than all the other jumps. It just looked like a more so the arc on the first jump we saw was really like this with that yeah, front wheel heavy and that was just a little bit less of a peak and it just looked a lot more in control and then I just got a glimpse of that out the corner of my eye and on that it looked really cool, it looked like there was a little bit of style in there yeah, yeah it's looking good so sometimes when you've got a jump which actually is much about speed it's anything, you don't need to do quite as strong a preload as on a smaller jump or on a steeper jump and I had noticed that in one of the earlier attempts that there was a lot of preload so we're just getting him to concentrate now on coming in not you know the subtlest amount of preload straighten those legs as he goes up the uh, takeoff and then allow those legs to bend up underneath him to bring his bum low to the saddle so he's not trying to put his bum back he just wants to allow the bike to come up underneath him and that should level him out and mean that he lands nice and sort of two wheels together on that down slope. Oh yeah! That was better wasn't it? That was a much better shape wasn't it? Yeah that Vastly was vastly improved. A lot better. You feeling uh feeling good? Yeah totally yeah so, that was cool. Yeah I mean yeah so just basically the, I mean the main thing for me is the whole actually standing up fully on the takeoff or even just just coming in nice and relaxed and yeah and just and, and just making sure I mean not not literally whoom, but just making sure I'm upright at that point isn't it yeah and it did feel a lot more felt way more in control M more so the fact that you know you're in control because you got time to spot the landing and you put the bike down level yeah both wheels hit the ground and you're like you ride away and you're like oh what was all the fuss about <laughs> that's cool that you can tell the difference and take away the principles and apply them to other types of jump now I think and hopefully give me less of the fear when you pitch in and land on the front wheel hopefully that's not going to happen anymore absolutely that'd be nice wouldn't it that <laughs> yeah. would be nice so there we go hopefully David's going to feel a bit more confident on the jumps going forward I'm going to feel a little bit less scared and hopefully <laughs> you have seen some of the sort of little problems that can arise with jumping and how you might fix them and the sort of things you might look at if you want to see more like this one do leave me a comment below perhaps on a different subject give me some ideas I'm here to help you guys get better at riding bikes so with that in mind don't forget to hit that subscribe button press like and it just remains to say thank you very much and i'll see you next time you ready for this one now then david no oh